It's one of the greatest things British art has ever produced. Joshua Reynolds' portrait of a, a Polynesian prince from the Society Islands called Mai, he was known as Omai, who came to Britain um, in one of the ships that had been part of Captain Cook's second expedition. Um, Joshua Reynolds, who's the great society portrait painter, uh, uh, just uh, a kind of production line of glamorous portraits, as well as very moving portraits, decided extraordinarily to paint this young Polynesian figure full length with this kind of heroic, beautiful grandeur. If he had one fault, he might be kind of over fastidious, over exact, over literal. Here, there's something about the encounter with this young Polynesian who had become a celebrity in England. Um, Mai met the king. He was the king made sure he was vaccinated against smallpox so that his beauty would never be damaged. He became very famous in this period in the 1770s. Reynolds actually produces for his, by his standards, incredibly free flowing romantic passages of paintings, a palm tree in the background. There's a pretty good vision of what Polynesian islands, society islands where he came from look like in the background. So this is a full on romantic painting by a massive figure of the art establishment um, which celebrates what were becoming known as noble savages. But you know, you look at this and there's nothing kind of savage about it. Um, it's immensely uh, touching um, that it was at a time when, remember, British society is intent on representing itself and collecting Roman and Greek statuary, particularly Roman and a Hellenistic statuary. This just absolutely simply rolls over the classical heritage and reinvents it. When we think about it, what moment is it reinventing? The British imperial encounter um, with other cultures, with other worlds, with other ethnicities. And we usually think of that as an embattled, ferocious, looting, rapacious moment full of the deep tragedy of the slave trade and episodes like this. This is absolutely the opposite in feeling and temperament. This is actually a vision of the possibility of us all belonging to the same human family, essentially. So there is this sort of sense that we're all the same, but there's also wonderfully details in, in the painting um, which proclaim difference as well. And the great detail um, are the tattoos on, on Mai's hands, particularly you can see them very clearly on his um, left hand, right as we're looking at it, but he's also been tattooed, I as I understand it, as part of a kind of coming of age ritual. This is the first tattooed person <laughs> to be a celebrity in Hanoverian Britain. This is one of the all time timeless masterpieces that painting could produce, and it absolutely must be available and accessible to everybody in this country and millions coming from abroad who should be seeing this, want to see it. And with any luck, please help make sure they will see it.